If you have an ASIN double barrel carburetor and are running into fueling problems, they're not necessarily the carburetor's fault. If you take a look down here, you will see that the carburetor is connected to this thermostatic valve. Uh, the Toyota calls it the BVSV, bimetal vacuum switching valve, which is uh, screwed into the water jacket. And uh, the carburetor is connected to the valve via vacuum hoses. The top vacuum hose is connected to manifold vacuum. The second vacuum hose you can see right here is connected to this component, which is the choke opener. And the uh, function of the choke opener is to hold the choke forcibly open when the engine is hot. And let me show you how this works. So when vacuum is applied here, what the choke opener does is pull this rod and you can see the choke is held open. And so this basically makes sure that the uh, engine is not running too rich when, uh, when it's warm. The third hose is connected to another component, which is called the auxiliary accelerator pump, uh, provided in addition to the main accelerator pump. And the auxiliary accelerator pump is essentially providing additional fuel uh, when the engine is cold because the main accelerator pump is not able to keep up with demand. So if the BVSV is not working correctly, these two components are not gonna be working correctly. Let me show you with a good BVSV what happens. So I'm going to simulate manifold vacuum with my vacuum pump right here. So during cold operation or on startup, this passage is supposed to be closed and this passage is uh, connected to the choke opener. So uh, when the engine is cold, the choke opener is not supposed to be activated. And this passage is connected to the auxiliary acceler accelerator pump. So you can see, since this passage is closed, when I apply vacuum, I can't really do it because it's just sucking in air through here. Now, if I close this passage off, you can see the vacuum is building. So before I uh, show you how to diagnose or what's happening with the valve down there, let me tell you how you can temporarily fix this issue until you are able to source a functioning BVSV. Of course, your main problem is going to be the choke opener because you don't want it to open the choke when the uh, engine is cold. So what you want to do is disconnect this vacuum hose from the choke opener and plug it and then plug the choke opener diaphragm. And so you should be able to run the car until you can source a new valve. So now let's test the valve and see what it does. Gonna disconnect the intake manifold vacuum hose and the other hoses. So remember, right now the engine is cold. This passage is supposed to be closed and this passage is supposed to be open. So, if I close the top passage, nothing is supposed to, I'm not supposed to be uh, able to build vacuum. But you can see I am, which means that the top passage, which is connected to the choke opener is open right now, and the choke opener would actually open the choke when the engine is cold, which is not good. So at this point, I'm gonna to have to change the BVSV, and in the next video, I'll show you how to do that.